So we can see that func date is a method that returns dates that gets written like this, or in C sharp 6 it can even get written like this in a simpler manner. Func number, a method that returns number, it will look like this. For example, get days between, to date and from date, or in a C sharp style it would look like this. Func time, a method that returns time, func text, a method that returns text, func bool, a method that returns bool, and I think you get the picture by now. Let's go back to our code and bind the days between as we want them. So we're going to say days between dot bind value. And we want to use this one. Now, I'm lazy. Let's say I want Visual Studio to create a method for me. So I'm going to say here, get days between. And when I hover on this, I can do control dot, and it will offer to generate a method like this. Perfect. So it's created the method for me, and I can say here, return to date minus from date, and it works. So we can see that if I put here 28th of February 17, we'll be able to see 21 days between the 30th of January and 28th of February 2017. So just like before, we are sending the method as a parameter. The only difference this time is that we used the light bulb, the control dot, to generate this method automatically. Visual Studio generates it automatically for us. And this is how we've done the days between. Great. Now let's go ahead and use C Sharp 6 style to get this to be shorter and sweeter. So we can say here, great, uh, equals greater, remove everything all the way here, and remove the closing bracket. Just like before, using C-Shop syntax, C-Shop 6 syntax comes up with a lot shorter code. It takes a bit getting used to, but once you're used to it, it's amazing.